gifts are finally in DaVinci Resolve in a really big way. This was a long time coming for, you know, ever. <laughs> uh, you just like couldn't use gifts with Resolve at all. Then in 18.5 at NAB earlier this year, they added the ability to export as a GIF out of Resolve, but it wasn't until today with Resolve 18.6 that we got the ability to import GIFs and hey, just drop them on a timeline. Now, you'll see, hey, there's a GIF, it dropped on a timeline, and Resolve treats this like footage. I can't stretch it out, it doesn't loop automatically, it just has a start. In the case of most GIFs, it just plays through once, and then it's done. Now, you could sort of like, manually uh, like duplicate these and like do the whole that thing to do the stuff but that's whatever that's slow that's not what we're gonna do because hey today uh, i'm also releasing a new free preset for davinci resolve if you don't know i've released dozens of free presets and plugins for resolve i also have a number of paid products um really cool stuff all of those live on my site and i talk about them here on the channel as well but today i'm releasing a little something if you follow the link in the description you will get to um, a, a download page on my site for a, a little simple utility I've built today for looping GIFs. Grab that download, it'll be a zip. Inside that will be this DRFX file. Double click that, you'll get a pop-up in Resolve saying, hey, do you want to install? Just click install. And then on the edit page, in the effects library, generators, Sterling Supply Company, you have GIF Looper. Drag that right to your timeline. And oh no, everything's broken, media offline. Bad? No. Good. <laughs> this by default is five seconds long, and in the inspector, you will see and right after some buttons to my YouTube channel and my website, which you should check out, a little clip name box. And if you have the GIF you want to use in your media pool, just drag it from the media pool over that box by clip name, and hey, and if I just move my playhead to update, you'll see, oh wow, that GIF is playing, and it is seamlessly looping. And now as long as you stretch this to be, it will just keep on looping. It's looping because uh, I have this little loop button. If you uncheck that, it'll go back to just the uh, one playthrough and it's done. But if you click loop, it just keeps on and keeps on going. Now, goofs are interesting because they can sometimes deal with time very funky and especially if you're using a GIF on like a 60 frames per second timeline, that GIF could end up moving really fast. So we also have this playback speed option. Say this is even too fast for you, uh, change the speed down to like 0.5 and now you got you got that little steppy motion, uh, which feels you know, like classic. And then you also just have some general controls afterwards. You have you know position, size, angle, all that. I also have this filter method um, for how it handles the size. If you want to scale up, that that'll just dictate how it handles pretty much like harsh edges. Uh, if you need to know how that works, odds are you already know how it needs to work. Um, for most like blocky things, nearest neighbor will be good or a linear is kind of the default option, but reset it to size. By default, um, it does sort of stretch things to be full frame, even though inside Fusion, it will not be that resolution, it'll be down there. But on the edit page that scales up, hmm, I don't know if that's something I can check out. But in the meantime, you know, you have full control to scale it down, move it wherever you want, that sort of deal. Oh, that's interesting, uh, because um, the full size of this, um, was sort of bound to these edges. Um, if I slide this off, it will sort of slide off the edges. Hmm, so uh, what we wanna do, I'm gonna probably like scale it down and then maybe hop over to settings and change that position. Then you'll sort of got the best of both worlds going on. Interesting. If I do a version two, maybe I'll work up some fancy stuff. This is very bare bones, but hey, it works. If you got a GIF, you want it to loop, drag the looper down slide the GIF into the clip name, and it will just loop away. Cool. I bet a lot of you didn't even know GIFs were now in Resolve. They are, that's cool, and I just made them better on the first day they were released. Check it out, link in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.